Why did YouTube remove email notifications from channels I've subscribed to? Here are a few comments from viewers. Now I understand why my subscribers don't see my videos and why my views have dropped dramatically. I use the email notification. I do not use mobile notifications. If I'm understanding you correctly, I'm going to lose those emails that I get for the select few channels and I want to make sure that I don't miss a video. My audience is constantly telling me they aren't getting their notifications. Why on earth is this feature still not functioning properly? In this video, I'll show you the top places where people subscribe to your channel, how to check your notifications on YouTube, how to make sure your subscribers are receiving notifications of your new uploads, and how to find the videos on your channel that are attracting the most subscribers. Let me ask you a question. How are you currently being notified of new video uploads from channels you've subscribed to? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too. Uh, and again, we spoke to small and large creators to help us make this decision. And they told us that actually they don't see email as being critical to the success of their video. Um, and so we are, we're, we're planning to turn off these emails. According to YouTube, 0.1% of these emails are opened and they also contribute to inbox overload. When they conducted an experiment by turning off email notifications, they didn't see any impact on watch time and saw an increase in engagement and push notifications and in the subscriptions feed. Just keep in mind that important emails that YouTube sends about your account, mandatory service announcements, etc., are not going away. Hey, if you're finding value from the content so far, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified of new content like this every week. Log to YouTube channel, click on your profile icon, click settings, click notifications. Under your preferences, make sure that subscriptions, recommended videos, activity on my channel, activity on my comments, replies to my comments, mentions, shared content are all turned on. Now you receive notifications from channels you've subscribed to, get recommendations of content you may like, get notified about comments and replies to your comments, and get notified when others share your content on their channels. Under email notifications permission, turn on send me emails about my YouTube activity and updates are requested. You can also turn on general product updates if you wish and create updates and announcements. When you find a channel you want to subscribe to, click the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon. The default notification is personalized, but select all if you want to receive all notifications from that channel. If you select all, you receive notifications for all uploads, including live streams, community posts, stories, etc. So if you've subscribed to my channel and are not receiving notifications, then make sure you select all so you receive notifications for future uploads, live streams, community posts, and stories. If you select personalized notifications, which is the default setting when you subscribe to a channel, you'll only receive some notifications for future uploads and live streams. If you unsubscribe and resubscribe to a channel, then your notifications will be reset to the personalized state. Later on, I'll show you how to receive notifications on your phone. Log into YouTube Studio, then click on the Analytics tab, then click on the Audience tab. Under Subscriber Bell Notifications, you'll see the percentage of subscribers who turned on all notifications for your channel. Typical on YouTube is between 10 and 30%, so 20% is not bad. You'll also see the percentage of subscribers who turned on all notifications for your channel and enabled YouTube notifications. Typical on YouTube is between 5 and 20%, so 9.7% is not bad. Just keep in mind that notifications can't reach subscribers who have disabled notifications on the YouTube app or have signed out. These stats were for the last 28 days, but if you click the drop down, you can do it for the last 7 days, 90 days, 365 days or lifetime. If I select the last seven days, I can see the number of subscribers I've gained in the last seven days. I've also gained 46,500 unique viewers. These are the number of people that have watched my content in the last seven days. And in the last seven days, I also received 3,300 returning viewers. These are viewers that have already watched the videos on my channel previously and have returned to watch more of my content in the last seven days. I mentioned before about seeing videos in your subscriptions feed from channels you've subscribed to. So what's the difference between subscriptions feed and notifications? Your subscription feed appears on both mobile and computer. It will show all the recently uploaded videos from your subscriptions. Notifications tells you when there are new videos and updates from your subscriptions. 
sign into YouTube Studio, click on Analytics, click See More, click Subscription Source. Now you'll be able to see which source attracts the most subscribers. Obviously my YouTube Watch page attracts most subscribers. These are subscriptions from the subscribe button on the video watch pages. You can see the amount of subscribers gained and the amount of subscribers lost in the last 28 days. You can also change this to 90 days, 365 days or lifetime. Since this page attracts most subscribers, make sure you invite viewers to subscribe to your channel and tell them why they should subscribe. Your goal is to convert more viewers to subscribers so they keep coming back to watch more of your content. Another top area is interactive features, which are subscriptions from interactive features on videos such as end screens, branding watermarks or annotations. Another is a YouTube channel, which is subscriptions from the subscribe button on the YouTube channel homepage. YouTube search, which are subscriptions from search results based on the queries. External, which are subscriptions from videos or subscribe buttons embedded on websites other than YouTube. Other YouTube channel means subscriptions from other channels that recommend your channel or videos from other channels that are related to your channel. And I noticed this recently that I'm getting subscribers from stories. Just seven from the last 28 days, but this could build up as I do more YouTube stories. Subscriptions feeds, subscriptions channel list, and closed accounts. The last five subscription sources saw a drop in subscribers, especially the one from closed accounts. This is because YouTube regularly removes false or bot accounts. If you want to learn more about why you're losing subscribers from YouTube, click the link in the description below this video. Tap the YouTube app, select a video you want to watch, tap on this video, tap subscribe, tap the bell notification icon, tap all if you want to receive all notifications from that channel. If you select personalize, you only get some notifications. If you want to unsubscribe, just tap subscribed, tap unsubscribe. Tap none if you don't want to receive any. If you're not able to select all notifications, it probably means that the notifications in the phone settings haven't been turned on. Tap settings, tap notifications, tap YouTube, tap allow notifications. You can also enable sounds, badge, app, icon, show on lock screen, show on history, show as banners. Another reason you may not be getting notifications on your phone is that you may not be logged in to the right channel. Here's how to switch channels. Tap the icon at the top, Tap switch account, choose your account. If you tap the bell icon, then you'll see all the comment notifications. If you tap subscriptions, you'll see all the channels that you're subscribed to. So if you're not subscribed to my channel and you're watching this video on your phone, tap the subscribe, tap the bell icon, tap all. Now you receive all notifications from my channel. But Herman, why do I keep losing subscribers from my channel? I'm glad you asked. Just watch the next video on why you're losing YouTube subscribers and how to fix it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.